everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. No, I don't do anything. Leave me alone. Uh, I am just exploring the village uh, right near my... Over here is where that astral temple was. I was kind of wandering around the desert. Um, for reasons. For reasons. Uh, so I figured I'd pop into this village real quick and explore it on camera, see if there's anything cool here. Ooh, a rune forge from Mana and Artifice. Don't mind if I do. That sounds fun. Uh, I think I need that thing for future stuffs. What do we got over here? I see a chest inside this building. Hello, friends. Oh, sacred scroll of regeneration. Yeah, I'll snag it. I only get it as a crafting recipe, right? So I just snag those kind of things when I see them. No. No. I think the, the, the Rune Forge, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Rune Forge makes villagers have a job, right? Yes, they become spellmongers now. So I think this is different, right? Because previously they would they would be librarians would, would sell this stuff. But I think now spellmongers are the ones that sell the things that we need. I think. I, I think he changed that either in this version or the next one that's coming out. So I'm not sure if that's changed completely yet. But long story short, no longer are librarians the ones that you trade with. Hey, there's like a... Oh, look, another Runeforge. Sweet. Eh, nothing too exciting here. Ow. Ow, my feet. Glistening melon slice. Ooh, mending. Okay. Two mending shovels. And, all right, that's not bad. Hey, is that... Oh, it is. Crying obsidian. Don't mind if I do. That stuff's rare, right? Relatively speaking, yes. Yes, I don't mind if I'll take some of that. Not bad. All right, what else we got in this village here? Anything else cool? Yeah, another one of those scroll things. Little kid jumping on a bed. Cats, lots of cats. It's actually a decent sized village. This is the stuff I was out exploring for, by the way. Uh, I decided I wanted to check out Thermal's uh, oil process. It looks interesting, though I'm not 100% sure I'm on board with it yet. Because it looks like for now, and I'll explain this while I'm looking through the village, but it looks like as it sits right now, the only way you can get... Ooh, a cartography table. Cool. Uh, oil is with this vitamin stuff. Um, so this, this sand, uh, bitumous sand, um, processes into crude oil. Right? So the only way you can get crude oil, the only way you can get crude oil is from the sand, right? And then crude oil can be fraction instilled into heavy and light oil. Light oil, the only way you can process it or, or, or get it is from crude oil. The only way you can get heavy oil is from, is from crude oil or a pyrolyzer of bitumen. So, yeah, that's a thing. So, and there's only a 10% chance to get the bitumen out of the crude oil. So I'm, I'm trying to check out like how the oil mechanics work in thermal. So basically there's light oil and there's heavy oil and heavy oil can turn into refined fuel and light oil can also turn into refined fuel and that's about it. So refined fuel also only comes from light oil and heavy oil. So long story short, remember how in previous versions of thermal you could turn coal into refined fuel via a, 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 not super complex, but a somewhat complex process of, of like refining it and doing all this stuff. I don't think that's in there anymore. Now it might just be that it's not in yet or it's not going to be in, I don't know. Um, but right now it looks like the main process by which you get fuel uh, in, in thermal is through this stuff. Now, as a reminder, this world gen was added after the pack was created, which is why I'm out by my astral temple to get it. Um, so, you know, now I'm suspecting that there might be more underground. I don't know if it only exists at the top Y level. I mean, not that, not that deserts are particularly deep, but like there might be like a couple of them that are like one or two spots below and that might be what's up. The, 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 the bitumous stuff, whatever it's called, uh, yeah, bitumous sand is not super rare. Um, it's not super common, but it's not super rare either. Like I've found a significant amount of it just in the few minutes that I've been recording. And I had been looking around for a few minutes before that as well. But you can see like when you find a vein of it, it's actually pretty decent size. 
right? Not too shabby. And I've just been kind of, so look, there's another one right there in the distance. I've just been kind of snagging a bunch of it. I figured let's give it a shot. Let's see what it's like, because we could use more power gen. Uh, I want to get into some more technical stuff today, as I promised. So there's a few things I want to do tech speaking. I want to do uh, progression in both thermal and um, progression in, uh, in mechanism. Oh, look, mobs are spawning. That's good to know. Not near my base, though. See, look, here's even more. Hey, is that another village? I think it is, actually. Let's take a nap out here, because I want to check out that village, too. I was gonna, I was gonna teleport home, but then, yeah, there's another village I to check out, right? So, yeah, see how much uh, bitness sand you get from this? Not bad at all. And that's kind of just been my process, is just go crazy and mine it all up. So yeah, we've got a decent amount of this oily sand stuff. Let's just pop into this village real quick, see if there's anything special here. Um, and if there's not, then we'll pop home and do a little progression. So I want to do uh, progression both mods. I want to very much, very much want to get energy storage going on. So most importantly, I'd like to get some kind of battery or something. I don't think I need that, but we're gonna go ahead and get it. Why not? Sure. Uh, anything else here that looks particularly of coolness? Just gonna just gonna explore the chests here to see if there's anything good. Oh, another one of these supply camp things. I will probably be playing with mine colonies at some point. I'd very much like to see how that mod has progressed since I last played with it in 112. Very interested to see where mine colonies has gone. Oh. He says, Rrr. anything I don't need, probably ah. you and you. Yeah, it should be fine. Just clearing up a little bit of my inventory space. Ah. Ah. Mm, nothing exciting. More oily sand stuff, though a pretty small vein of it. All right, let's pop home. That looks like about everything. So I'm gonna store this stuff. I don't know where I want to put it. All my chests here are full. I should probably get into refined storage sooner than later. Um, but at some point, I need to figure out where I'm going to put all these things. Let's grab just a regular chest to store all this stuff in. Um, and that will kind of be my fuel source for a little bit. I'm curious to see how good this stuff lasts in terms of fuel, right? It's not renewable or anything, right? So we want to, we want to keep that in mind. Just put away all this stuff for a future use. I'm actually put you in there, sir. And uh, yeah, let's get situated. All right, so first things we need to do, whoops, we wanna look at this. So we need a centrifugal separator, right? So that's a to-do list item. Uh, and then we wanna process the crude oil in a fractioning still, right? And then that'll get these things and they need another fractioning still or maybe two or three, to turn that heavy oil into refined fuel. And then that refined fuel goes into a compression dynamo. And I'm not entirely sure how much energy that's going to produce, but we're going to find out. All right, guys, we're back. So what I think I'm going to do is something that I do frequently, and that is get to work on a basement. Now, I know a lot of people recommend that I build a second story to my base, but that doesn't make a lot of sense to me for cabling and power gen, right? To me, all the cable and power gen should be in the basement where it's like kind of out of sight, but maybe I'll do a second story for some other things, right? Because I know so, some people are like, you should do like a tower type structure. So I'll see about that, but let's get a basement going because I really feel like, like if I have power up there, then all the wires would have to come down through the ceiling to my machines. That doesn't make sense. And that would look ugly. I'd want them underneath kind of like hidden, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is go down. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Does that seem good? Cause I wanna make sure like the basement's deep enough. I think it's about here-ish and then I can still kind of reach the ceiling. That should be cool. We'll see. If I need to go deeper, I can. Uh, I'm gonna use my destruction gadget cause that's kind of the my personal favorite way. So we're gonna go depth of 16 all the way deep. Uh, up and left is gonna be zero and right is gonna be 16. How does that feel? Uh, too high up. So we anchor it, we check. Really? Still too high up? 
Oh, there we go. I see what's happening. Does that look cool? A little bit too high still. I want to have like maybe two. Yeah, I think two block spaces there. One for the floor and one for, uh, well, or do I want three? I think, well, let's, let's go with two. Well, maybe not. Let's just go through like that. We'll just have one depth. So let's try that. Nice and clear. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's perfect, right? Because 16 deep that way and then 16 deep this way leads to this corner machine, the pulverizer. So that's actually really not bad. That ain't bad at all. I might want to get rid of this this source thing here, but we'll see. But that at least clears out that mess. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I want to do the same thing here, but only a depth of one. Right, and that'll clear out that line. Beautiful. So that's like not a terrible basement, right? It gets the job done. Um, now, here's one thing that we want to make sure that we have. I'm going to have here. Cool. I'm going to clean up the house a little bit more because obviously it's a bit of a mess. But first thing I want to make is elevators to get up and down. Uh, now, I haven't decided exactly where I want this to be, but we definitely need sheep or something. Because me doing everything with wool all the time ain't going to work for much longer. Or, or with, like, string and whatnot. So let's get our shears wherever they are hiding. There's usually some shears somewhere around here. I'm, I'm, I very much miss the ability to search with JEI. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Like, I can't double-click this guy to search for shears. But uh, if we can't find them, we'll just make a new set. It's always, it's YouTuber blindness, right? Like, it's just a thing. You can't, you're looking for something, you can't see it. So I think what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to go get, um, I'm going to run around the world and collect some wool from sheep. We'll be right back. All right, I think that's enough sheep collection for us. So let's get a pair of ender pearls, right? Uh, I'm going to put you guys away and probably you as well. And uh, a couple ender pearls, and then we'll check out the elevator. One of my favorite items. White elevator will do. Sweet. Now I'm not sure if this is where I'm gonna keep my elevator or not, but we'll figure it out. So you there, you there, and then boom, jump and shift to go up and down. Awesome. All right, nice. So I want to move my ender tank into the basement. I'm also debating if I want better energy pipes. Um, do I want to stick with refined pipes or, because um, ultimate needs that. I mean, it's a lot of things. Or do I want to go to mechanisms pipes? Because um, mechanism has some pretty good energy conduit things. I'm debating how I want to do this, right? Uh, universal cables can transfer a decent amount of RF at the ultimate tier. 3.27 million forge energy per tick. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Um, and they're reasonably not terribly expensive. Um, or do we want to do refined pipes? Because those get up to, I mean, at the top tier, it's like 32,000 forge energy per tick, so a lot slower. Uh, to transfer energy a lot slower. Um, but, I mean, we're not at the point where we need to worry about that yet, right? We could probably just start with this. I, mean, I think 4,000 RF a tick is probably a decent starting point. Uh, I just don't want to get to the point where we're spending a lot of diamonds and emeralds on these pipes. I think what I'll do is probably stick with this for now through the gold tier. How am I for gold? Do I have a lot of it or not so much? Eh, not bad. Eh, not bad. Because that'll get me like... You know, all right. We could probably do some of this and a little bit of this. I think that should be plenty. And then there was glass involved in that recipe too, right? Yeah, let's do let's do gold pipes for this. So we will do um, you in two blocks and then seven sets of you. Does that sound good? That's not a bad starting point at least. Yeah, I like that. And then if we want more in a bit, we can get some. Not that big a deal. Oh, wow. We actually have lots of blocks of gold. Yeah, I found them underground, didn't I? So, yeah. 
Uh, we definitely have a lot of gold. We found that in one of those uh, dungeons that we did, I think. So let's reallocate our whole energy transfer system here, right? And let's look at the uh, thermal energy cube, because I want to compare that. Let's see. I think we've got energy storage available now in the newer version of thermal, right? Yes. Redstone flux energy cell frame and redstone flux cell. So these two things need to be made. So we will get them going too. Cool. And maybe we'll make our floor out of something a little bit nicer. Just a little bit nicer. You know, I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to get too fancy for you guys, but a little bit nicer wouldn't be a terrible idea. So where do we want to set all this up? I'm thinking my energy cell, maybe I put in the corner here and I restructure the way this stuff works. I do have a lot of stone smelting, by the way. Um, and then once we augment our energy storage and power, we'll also augment the machines to make them run faster. So looking through this, another thing we're going to need is cured rubber. Uh, so cured rubber comes from smelting. Is it always smelting? Yeah, pretty much. Looks like it. Rubber. And rubber is made oh, like that. That's a terrible recipe. I hate that recipe. What are you doing to me? What kind of recipe is that? Veto. Oh, I guess it, any flowers? It's a weird recipe. It's a weird recipe. I got to imagine that's like a placeholder recipe, right? Although there's this. What's this? Latex rubber from thermal. Um, that you get 50 millibuckets from a multi server press vines or dandelions. Really? Really? Let me. All right, so I'm going to argue that dandelions are easier to come by than vines. And as such, I'm going to harvest a few extra from the world. I had like 30 at home. And it's not even yellow dye, so I can't even do the sunflower trick, right? Like it's it's straight up dandelions. Let me. What are you doing to me, buddy? That's all I want to know. So I had a few. I'm making a few more. I'm going to get my bucket going. Let's uh, craft a few of these and see how they go. Where did I? Oh, there it is. So what we're going to want is you to make that. Well, that's a, that, is a, that is a recipe and a half, let me tell you. It's brutal because it's a bucket. So you have to like constantly refill and do that. Yeah, that's not, that's not what I would call my favorite recipe in the world. But eh, it's all right. I'm going to get, I think, four of these. Yeah, it's not even it's not even a little bit of a good time. I'm trying to figure out, like, the most efficient way to go about this, and it's not easy. Right, that should be enough for now, and we'll see what happens. Now, I also noticed that if you want to cure it, you can smelt it as one-to-one, -one, or you can get two-to-four, which is one-to-two, if you combine it with sulfur in an induction smelter. So I think we've got some sulfur. Do we have some? Yeah. So we're going to want that, right, in an induction smelter. That would be you guys. And that should be a little bit better. All right. Not the end of the world. Right? Not terrible. Not great, not terrible. That's where I'm going to put that recipe at. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that that rubber recipe is temporary. And that as he expands this mod a little bit more, we will be seeing um, some better recipes. Because that is bananas that recipe right there that recipe is not my favorite but I, like i said i'm pretty sure we can expect that as the because the mod isn't done right there's definitely a lot of things that i'm pretty sure lemming has planned that just ain't in yet so we will we will get to that There we go, everybody's happy, and we've got our redstone flux cell. Cool, so this thing can hold a million RF as a buffer, and it can transfer a thousand RF a tick. Not too shabby. Um, do I wanna just shift everything to the right and have this in the corner? Uh, that's one approach that we can do. That's usually how I do it. Um, I might wanna shift this around a little bit. I mean, there's just so much junk in here, so I'm whole hesitant to do too much. Or, or what I could do is just kinda stick this here right? That might not be terrible. Uh, so let's see, there's the sidedness control. Yes. All right, cool. So up will be orange, which means it's outputting energy. I'm going to have everything be output except the bottom. Um, so what that'll do is energy will come in the bottom of this device and export out the sides. Now I'm assuming that the same augments that can be applied to machines can be applied to this. 
So first off, right, what we can, and there's only two augment slots. Um, so what we're gonna want is probably to get this guy up to at least this tier, if not resonant tier, because we have a lot of ender pearls now. So that seems doable, right? Let's see about making that happen. Uh, let's get some more um, iron nuggets because we've got a few of them. Let's let's augment this dude to the best of our ability, right? So gold gear, I don't know why I use that recipe, don't ask. Um, so that's done. So then you need some Signalum gear. Do we have Signalum still or do we use all of it? We've got a little bit actually. Yeah, cool, nice. Uh, I'm gonna put away the wool that I don't need and the mechanical pipes that I don't need and my gadgets for now, but I will probably need them back in a minute. So you, sir, needed a little bit more Signalum. So that is copper, silver, and redstone, right? Yes, copper. Three copper, one silver, four redstone. Three copper, four silver. That should be cool, right? Actually, one more silver. And that'll be good, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So give me that, and then we're going to get up to that tier. Now, what's involved in this? Lumium? So Lumium is made silver, three tin, and two glowstone. Silver, three tin, and two glowstone. So let's get this one at least. So I wanna, I'm going to max out my, my machine over here and see if we can't make him as good as we can be. I want another one of you, another one of you, and then we also want some quartz. And that'll be a reinforced tier. Now, just for curiosity's sake, reinforced tier, um, I'm assuming this goes in here, right? Ah, 3 million RF and 3,000 RF a tick. So you do want to remember to change these. This is how much it can output and how much it can input, how much energy it can receive, how much energy it can extract, right? So 3,000 RF a tick. Not bad. Three million total storage. Not bad. Um, okay. And then I, I probably want to augment this all the way. So we're going to be using that in just a minute to do so. So before that's done, let's get um, how about nine, three, and six glowstone. That should be cool. All right. And that'll get me the lumium that I need. And then enderium is going to be a diamond dust, three lead and two ender pearls. Okay, so, we're, and that'll get me, how much of those? Two of these, right? Yes, two of these. So ultimately we're gonna want four of you and two diamonds that are gonna get pulverized here. This is me checking out, and I don't know if this is the, the final recipe, like I don't know if platinum's coming back. It may, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out at some point if platinum decides to come back. All right, so you're pulverizing diamond dust for me, which is nice. You're almost done with your lumium, which is also nice. I really need to augment these machines, which will happen after I upgrade the energy cell, right? So that's done. This is almost done. I don't think I need my astral wand on me at the moment. I've just been kind of storing all my astrally things over here. Sugar doesn't need to be in this inventory. Sugar can be in my plants inventory. All right, you are getting there with the Lumium. Nice, Lumium done. So then it's four, two, and I believe six of these is what we're gonna want, right? And that should get me my resonant tier. I'll be back when this is done. All right, looking like Enderium's ready. So let's upgrade this dude. Oh, I'm gonna need some of that hardened glass stuff too, huh? Uh, so that is, any kind of hardened glass, I believe. Do we have any of that sitting around? I don't think we do. So it says Signalum, Lumium, and Derium glass. Hardened glass is what we want, right? And that is sand, obsidian, and nether quartz. So nether quartz, uh, sand, and obsidian right? in here. Cool. That's not a bad recipe. I actually like that one. It's it's a lot easier to make that hardened glass. 
I'm wondering if there's a difference between like hardened glass and enderium glass, right? Because enderium is going to be like, it's bit, these are ore dictionaries, so why would you ever make this? I'm wondering what the purpose of that class is. Maybe it'll serve a purpose in the future? I guess we'll find out. All right, so now that we've got this guy, this will upgrade him to 4,000 and 4 million storage. And you might be saying to yourself, that ain't much, Dyer. That ain't much. Uh, 4 million RF for like the top tier. And I don't totally disagree, but there's still another augment slot here, right? Um, so this is where these things will come in. Expanded RF coil will increase your capacity and transfer by 4X. So that'll be 16 million and 16,000. Or we could go stabilized, that'll be 6x, so that'll be 24 million and 8,000 transfer speed. Or we could reverse that and make it really high transfer speed and lesser storage. So I'm thinking this is what I want, because I really want storage at this point. So that's straightforward enough to make. So that's what I'll do. I almost shift clicked that, and I probably almost would have regretted that a lot. All right, so now we put this augment in here. Uh, and boom, we've got 8,000 and 8,000, right? Because it's 4x here and then 2x for the transfer here. And then your total storage is 24 million. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Not at all. You know? Um, I'm trying to debate. Because this is 4x and 4x. And this is 4x and 4x. So why would I go through the product? Like, I should have just made this, right? It's the same. Oh, so there is a difference. So if I put this in here, it's 4,006 million. And if I put this in here, it's 8,024 million. So it looks like it. these guys work together, where these guys, it just takes the bigger of the two. I get it. So, so there is a reason to do what I did. Well, that's comforting. All right, outside I'm cleaning up the big mess that was my base. Uh, let's see, do you upgrade by the way? Basic energy pipes, there is no upgrade crafting recipe for them. It would be cool if there was, like uh, you know, for a few gold, it like allows you to upgrade them or something, but meh, no such thing. We'll see, this is, uh, this is early game stuff. We'll, we'll be upgrading these things definitely in the future. But let's get this going now. So you're going to output energy there. You're going to input energy from the bottom. So what I'm going to have then is something like this, where I'm going to have my magmatic dynamo here. And then right next to you, I'm pretty sure this will output on all sides. Yes, good, 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 good. Cool. So you're doing the mana, the mad, that stuff, and you're doing this. I could upgrade this dude if I really wanted to. But, meh, we'll see. So you're doing pretty nice. Not bad. All right, so with that thing getting power now, we can do this way more efficiently. So this guy will just run straight across here. And this guy will just run, whoop, not that. Straight across there, and that looks cool. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Now, there's a little bit of ugliness there, not a terrible amount. So my only real problem is that, you know, if I wanted this, what I could do if I wanted to hide this would be something like this, right? And then that allows me to hide that a little bit better. And if I really wanted to, I could do that and that works, right? That's nicer. Not too shabby, not bad at all, not bad at all. Now here's one thing I might wanna make, mm, maybe. Let's make it just because, just because it's fun. We're gonna get you, and I think that's it. Uh, shrink, personal shrinking device, totally a cool gadget. We need a button, we need a button, we need a button. I can make a button. You can see all the stone I'm smelting up in preparation of trying to make my basement and house look decent. Personal shrinking device, hooray! Uh, sneak click to activate. You ready? You ready for this? Here it goes. Bing. Hello. Hello. It is Tiny Dyer. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha 
personal shrinking device is what's up. Uh, I'm curious to see if I can fit inside a single block space here, right? So I think I can. Look at how beautiful that looks, by the way. I can't. I'm having a little trouble sneaking inside there. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. I was hoping I could sit, fit inside that block space, but it doesn't look like I can. Um, I mean, you can definitely fit, you know, inside a pretty small block space, but not, apparently, not inside that. I wonder if I can fit inside mechanism pipes. Let's see. Where's, uh, because I'm pretty, the basic mechanical pipe is definitely a thing. There's, give me some steel. Those are compressed iron ingots. That's not steel. Oh. Do we have steel over here? I don't see any. I thought I had steel laying around. Can I sneak under you guys? So these guys I can sneak under. See? Aha. That's cool. And I would wager, because I'm pretty sure they have all the same bounding box, that I could sneak inside. So when we when we migrate to mechanism pipes, which based solely on this, I will probably be doing sooner than later, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'll be able to fit underneath them. Uh, but alas, I cannot fit underneath these guys. Even though it looks like I should actually... Okay, I can fit I can fit under these guys. So why are you being so funny about me fitting under you? That's weird. There's something fuzzy here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's cause you know what, maybe it's because there's that there? Like can I sneak under this? No. I'm wondering if it's because of these energy pipe like the connectors here? Would that be causing it? I don't know. I mean, it does... So that... That's weird. I don't know what that's all about. Look at the little dire. I can go visit my rats. Hey guys, don't eat me please. I know I'm smaller than you now. Nah, they're good rats. They're not gonna eat me. I mean, how can you not think that this mod is the coolest thing ever? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's because of these connectors. Maybe it's, maybe the bounding box for them is here, but it's not rendered. So it's just, it's being weird. I'm not sure. Because I'm not running into that here, but I'm running into it in this block space. There's something fuzzy here. So I'm just wondering what that is. It might just be like an invisible bounding box. And occasionally you can get a little x-ray effect going on as a result of just the way the camera works in Minecraft, but overall, super cool mod. Super cool mod. That's going to be very handy for me. Um, but I'm going to put it away. We're going to wrap up the episode here and come back next time. So we've got the foundations of a little bit of cleanup going on, right? Uh, I'm going to, next episode, probably build an oil processing rig in my basement. So all those machines that we talked about here that are gonna take care of processing the, the oil, I'm gonna build in the basement with a couple compression dynamos and then we'll run fuel through them. Sound like a plan? All right, for now though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.